Hello. Just checked into the Monasterio Hotel, an old monastery in Cusco, and looking over the bed is an archangel. Now, I don't know who, which one that is. I don't know if it's Michael, Gabriel. Maybe you folks can tell me. But this is a just a beautiful room. Just got here into Cusco. And we have Vilma doing sessions for everybody. I believe the most powerful medicine woman in Peru. <clears throat> We're very, very fortunate to have her uh, help us. My good old friend, Vilma. And look at this room. Really cool. It's a, yeah. a little espresso machine. Another archangel. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna need help identifying these. <laughs> oh dear. I think there's one more at the front door. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, who is that? <laughs> this is gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to share this extraordinary room here in Cusco. And uh, maybe I can say a little bit about sorcery versus shamanism because Vilma's father, Don Martin, was, is the most renowned, was the most renowned sorcerer in Peru and, had, and has given that up and does only shamanism. And the difference is that um, sorcery is used typically, let's say you have a, a, um, a client and you want them to help win the presidency or something like that, where you would put curses and such on their, on their enemies, their, the other people. And what a shaman does is simply help that person to be empowered not to have enemies in the first place. So it's more empowering, whereas sorcery is more disempowering. So I hope that's clear. I guess the thing to do would be to ask yourself, because the number one form of sorcery is self-sorcery, ask yourself in what ways are you working against yourself? In what ways are you feeling bad or shameful or telling yourself things that uh, are more getting in the way of your empowerment. Um, you know, playing the victim, for example, um, <clears throat> or even feeling as if you're a perpetrator or you need to be a rescuer. So those are different ways in which, um, ways in which self-sorcery happens. Okay. And, uh, we, we really don't want to do that. <laughs> so... All right, I think uh I think that's all for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.